Reform could be coming to the emergency housing crisis in the state. 22 News State House reporter Ellen Fleming gives us the latest proposal out of the House in Boston. House leaders put out a plan today that would steer millions of dollars into the emergency shelter system while also placing guidelines on length of stay. According to the latest emergency shelter report, the state has spent $395 million thus far on the shelter crisis. Although there is currently a cap of 7,500 families allowed in emergency shelter, the wait list for emergency placement continues to grow. As of today, it's at 779 families. Approximately 800 families in shelter are in western Massachusetts. Now, the House today released legislation that would place $245 million into the state's emergency shelter system. However, the legislation also puts guidelines around the state's right to shelter law. The majority of people would only be allowed to stay in shelters for no longer than nine months. Those who have a job or who are enrolled in a job training program could stay for an additional three months. And pregnant women and people with specific disabilities would be able to stay for 12 continuous months. It isn't fair for these people to stay there for as long as they want. And the new people coming in, the new people coming in don't have the opportunity to have access to some of the advantages that these folks have. So we start in the interest of fairness. And in order to keep this, this program in existence, if we don't do something to change this and make it fairer, it's going gonna, it's gonna to sink under its own weight. Now, this funding would only fund costs for fiscal year 2024 without a long-term funding proposal in place. The House will be voting on this legislation tomorrow. Working for you at the State House in Boston, Ellen Fleming, 22 News.